channel or welcome if you're new here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every single time I post a review like this. Today I'm going to be reviewing this one-handed electric mixer. This is also going to be a first impressions video to see if this really does everything that I hope it can do. I chose this one-handed electric mixer over um, your standard one with two prongs because my mom has one of those and that's what I've been using um, to uh, bake or make anything and it's really quite heavy so I chose to get this one for easier use. It's also really lightweight. It can also be used at an angle like this or it can stand straight up. All you have to do is push this button down with your thumb, take your other hand I'm actually not using this hand too much. I'm kind of guiding it with my dominant hand and using my chest a little bit too to rest it. I'm using as much range of motion that I, uh, as much ability as I have, even though I don't have a lot of function in the left hand, I can still turn this quite easily to be, to stand straight up as well. So it's really quite easy to flip from standing straight up or all the way at I think 90 degrees this is yeah 90 degrees it also has uh, two stands at the bottom to be able to stand up on a counter or the table and I found that with my mom's traditional electric hand mixer with two prongs it was really difficult to stand it up on the counter um, when I was finished or if I needed to take a break, it, again, it was really quite heavy and difficult to hold a maneuver with one hand. So again, this one is really quite lightweight. It has a stand. It also comes with two other mixers, a beater and a drink mixer. And to really put this to the test, I chose to make Dalgona coffee today. It's that really famous TikTok coffee or popular coffee drink, iced coffee drink, that was going around um, the internet last year during quarantine. And I chose that because it takes me about four to five minutes to get to the consistency that I like from just sugar, water, and espresso mix into this really lightweight, fluffy consistency to go on top of milk. And at the end of the video, I'll let you know if this was easier to use than your standard electric mixer with two prongs or just the same or even more difficult. I doubt it will be more difficult. Again, like I said, it is lightweight. Uh, it can go on an angle, which I think is super helpful. I think it will be easier to hold with one hand. The second thing that I'm actually going to be reviewing in this video is this uh, mixing bowl. I chose this mixing bowl mainly because of the handle and its uniqueness for somebody with a disability, specifically with one arm, one dominant arm, limited range of motion. Other mixing bowls that I saw with a handle only had this part, only had the top part. And for me, I don't have a great grip even on my dominant arm. So I wasn't sure if I would be able to maneuver something with just one little flap up here. Another one that I saw only had a handle that kind of stuck out and didn't meet at the bottom like this one. So again, I wasn't sure how practical or it, I wasn't sure in my ability to be able to hold just something that kind of stuck out here. If I really needed a pour. I'm not going to pour this because I have the coffee mixture in here. But um, pouring something, I wasn't sure um, if I was able to use it if it didn't meet at the bottom here. So the main reason I got this one is because of the rounded handle. And you can see right here in the background, it actually came with a smaller size and a larger size. They're also pretty lightweight, so I'm glad to find that out upon opening the box. Also, another reason I bought this one, not just because of the handle, but because of the spout here, which I think would be great for pouring, and also the rubber silicone bottom as well for stability when mixing. Also another great thing about these particular mixing bowls that I love 
is that they can also be storage. They all come with uh, lids for each of the bowls, which I thought was perfect to save up, uh, to save on cleaning, to save on uh, plastic, like clean film over a mixing bowl. I can also store stuff in the mixing bowls if I don't use all of what I make, so I love that. I will demonstrate um, putting it on in the second camera. I will also now uh, demonstrate using the mixer to make the coffee and then talk about my thoughts at the end. So first off, I'm gonna demonstrate putting the lid on and how easy that is. You just have to line the spout up with the lid, push down to let all the air out. And you could do this one-handed, that's fine too. Just push it all down, make sure the edges are locked in and there you go. Yeah, so I would say that's pretty easy. It doesn't suction so hard that you can't get it off. And I am able to hold it with my non-dominant, my left hand quite easily. I don't have a great grip, but I have a good grasp with this unique handle here. hand with my left hand and also I'm still able to hold it pretty steady while I scoop the Dalgona coffee into the glass. so I'm gonna be buzzing all night, but that's okay. It was delicious. It was the first time I had it with oat milk and it was a great combination. My overall takeaway from these products is that I am super satisfied and happy and excited that they actually worked for me and they, they lived up to my expectations. The one-handed single electric whisk was super lightweight. I was able to whisk the coffee for a good three or four minutes without it getting heavy in my hand whatsoever and easy to grasp and I think just as powerful as a double pronged electric hand mixer. So just to finalize, I think this electric hand mixer would be great for somebody with a disability or a physical limitation similar to mine because it is lightweight, you can hold it with one hand, you can operate it with one hand. It has a sturdy bottom to rest easily on the counter. The whisk attachment doesn't take too much effort to put in or take out, and it's just as powerful as a double-pronged electric hand mixer, I think. And the bowl, I think, would be great for somebody with limited range of motion in their arm, in their wrist, who has one dominant arm over the other. Someone who doesn't even have that great of a grip, I think would still be able to maneuver this type of bowl because of the really unique, well-rounded handle. So I hope you were able to gain a lot from this video and that I demonstrated well enough why I bought these particular devices or tools for you guys to make an informed decision on your next purchase. I will leave these devices and tools in the description box below. You'll find them on Amazon to purchase the exact same ones or 
take what I said today into consideration when purchasing your next cooking utensils and find similar items because these specific ones work really well for my limitations. I hope you enjoyed this review and demonstration. Once again, like and comment and share with other people that you think would find these types of devices or tools beneficial to them. And lastly, turn on notifications to get notified every single time I post. So stay tuned for a lot more videos to come. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.